my family, as you know, is uh, one, now 120 years it's been a state of Berlin. And uh, it's uh, very seldom, it's not so usual that uh, the uh, instrument goes to many generations. My grandfather, he began with clarinet, my father played the violin, and I played the cello, and my son again plays the cello. Now we have the fourth generation, it's not so uh, usual that uh, mm -hmm. the children do the same job that the parents do, but I don't know if I yeah. answered that great question. Were they a big uh, influence to you, or was it yourself who decided? Well, I see, it was my, no, it was my idea. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do it. I had uh, never, uh, there was never a question for me to do another thing. And uh, when I heard the uh, first time music, when I heard the sound of the cello playing, like, let's say, like uh, in a symphony, like a vocal symphony, uh, or in the Vienna, in, in the opera, I thought, this is my instrument. And it stayed it until now. The cellist makes that uh, you have to, very <laughs> to be very busy <laughs> and very... I think most important is, of course, the talent. Mm -hmm. You need a talent, mm -hmm. but uh, you have to have a very good base, you have to, to get a very good technique, you have to get teachers who will give you this technique, mm -hmm. this base. It's like building a house. If you have not a good, solid base, basement, and you can build on this. And I had, uh, I was very lucky in my life. I had great teachers, perhaps not so international famous. For me, the voice, all the principal cellists of the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra was Eva Grinkler, Richard Kotschak, Emanuel Brabitz. Kotschak and Brabitz, they were really famous teachers. And they gave me the bass, and I had the feeling I can on this space, I can develop, develop, develop. And uh, I'm very grateful to have it for this teacher. I, I was, I was, I, this is not the first time I am mm -hmm. in Singapore. Yeah. <laughs> Therefore, I have not so much experience. But I think Singapore is a growing city, unbelievable growing city in, in all directions. And of course, in music also. I was in, in Asia, yes, and I, I made the experience that we, we have all a heart and we can do, we all are classical music, we can open the hearts all over the world, in Asia, or in the States, everywhere. And I think this is also some secret of what we are doing in Middle Europe, that we come of a culture and a tradition. And if we play, let's say, I remember when we played uh, uh, Viennese Waltz. I don't know, it was a Stoner, Daniel, Blue Daniel, or Emperor Waltz, mm -hmm. one of these very famous pieces. And I saw an, an old gentleman sitting in the first row, and he had tears running like this. And I thought, now we play, and we play in Asia, a piece it was not so usual, not so often played, but we have the same heart mm -hmm. and the same feelings. And uh, if you have sorrow, we have the same feelings. And we are, and if we enjoy something, we have the same feelings about enjoying something. It's the same. Thank you. Thank you.